YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I wanted to talk about the horror of Rockstar support and just how bad it is. And I'm going to show you guys some examples. And I'm going to show you guys this example that my friend, she sent me over. And I'm going to show you guys an example of an incident I had dealing with Rockstar support over a year and almost a half ago. But anyways... Let's talk about this. So my friend, uh, she sent me this link to the um, on the Reddit Online official subreddit, um, in which this one guy was having an issue with um, um, a glitch that he encountered with the new update. And this post was made by El Diablo 1989. Um, I will link his um, original post here down below, as well as the solution, so that you guys can um, take a look at this. And I'll also show my own dialogue of Rockstar support, an incident I had. So I'll link El Diablo's post um, down below. Make sure you guys give his post a like if you have a reddit and share his post because his post is blowing up um i just feel really bad for the guy and what he had to go through thankfully he does have a happy ending which i'll cover um here but the amount of effort that he had to go with fighting with rockstar support it's just ridiculous but anyways let's look at this and this post kind of blew up so el diablo 1989 he wrote was playing Reddit online, about to try the new opportunity for the first time. Paid the 25 capitale after the loading screen. Error message kicked me back to the main menu. Loaded up the game again, and capitale is missing. But never played, started the mission. Would like to have it back. Please, can upload video evidence to YouTube if you want. Thanks in advance. So he has a video of this happening to him. So he paid the 25 capitale to try to start the opportunity um, mission. And after the loading screen error, the mess it kicked him back to the main menu, and he his capitale was gone. And twenty five capitale can take a decent amount, um, a decent amount of time to get, because some missions you can only really find one or two capitale on them, and so you could be grinding these missions for hours before you actually get to twenty five capitale. And so this is his first reply from the Rockstar rep, and the reason that I'm blurting out their names here is because even though the rockstar reps their responses are just so stupid and pointless i don't really think it's entirely their fault because their hands are tied when we think about it these reps um they're they're supposed to give responses like this these stupid responses i think the reps themselves even realize how stupid it is the people that we should be blaming though are the people that are in charge of rockstar support because that's just really bad but anyways this is what the guy here says hello thank you for contacting Dick contacting Rockstar support. We understand that you are experiencing an issue with loading rather than online stuck at 50%. Please follow the, the below steps to cr clear the cache of the console, which could help resolve the issue. Press and hold the PlayStation button on your controller. Select turn off PS4. Let the PlayStation 4 fully power down and wait for at least 30 seconds. Restart the PlayStation 4, hold L1 and R1 while booting up the game. If the issue persists, Follow the below steps to change the DNS settings. Now, I'm not going to read all of that um, there, but you guys see that there, nothing in this response helps at all. Zero. There is zero percent of help in this response. So the 50% glitch that he's talking about, this is actually a new glitch in which um, uh, you get stuck at 50% when you try to load up blood money. But the guy wasn't having that. The guy had a glitch where he got um, uh, he got kicked um, back to the main menu, loaded up the game again, and his 25 capitale was gone. All he wants is just to be compensated for that just so he can play the opportunity mission because he spent hours trying to get that capitale in the first place. And then El Diablo 1989 writes, No, I don't have an issue with it getting stuck at the loading screen. I got an error message after starting up the Covington Emerald opportunity. I lost the 25 capitale I spent and would like to get it back. So like I said, he just wants a 25 capitale back. Now here, we got a different Rockstar rep. Hello, El Diablo1989. Thank you for contacting Rockstar support. We understand your concern regarding capitale. We will be happy to assist you with this. We would like to let you know that players can have a maximum of 50 capitale in their satchel at any time. If you receive more capitale, it will be sent to either the post office or your camp lockbox and can be picked up from there once you have made room in your satchel. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. This this response is just... This, I think this response might be even stupider than the, than the first response, but... They aren't answering the question at all. They're just saying you can have a maximum of 50 capitale in your satchel at any time. Everyone understands this. When you have 50 capitale, you can't get any more, but it wasn't about... Diablo having 50 capitale, he lost 25 capitale because he started tried to start up the, the mission and it glitched out on him. This is the type of support that you get from Rockstar support, this stuff, these kind of responses. 
And then El Diablo wrote, no, I'm missing the 25 Capitale that I paid for the mission when the game crashed. I didn't have the max amount. I didn't get stuck at 50%. I would like to get you to give me 25 Capitale. There's plenty of room in my satchel for it. So like he says here, he, he, he's not full on Capitale. He has plenty of room for it. And now this is the final response before um, the post blows up. Hello, El Diablo1989. Thank you for contacting Rockstar Support. We understand your concern regarding Capitale. We will be happy to assist you with this. We would like to let you know that players can have a maximum of 50 Capitale in their satchel at any time. And it's basically the same exact response again. Is, is, it, is it the same thing? Yeah, it, it, it's exactly the same thing. So literally, they just, um, uh, the reply was just copied and pasted by the next guy. This was a different representative. This is the support that you get from Rockstar. This. This stuff. And I, I can't imagine how El Diablo 1989 was feeling. I'd, I'd be pissed off. I'd be, I'd be really annoyed about this. So you spend like hours trying to play this new update and then this garbage happens. Thankfully though, the story did have a good ending. So this post blew up. It got thousands of, um, of views. And what ended up happening is uh, El Diablo said, Okay, I'm going to keep replying like this until I get an actual human. At least I hope it's, it's a bot. Give Capitale, please. And then this guy here said, Hello, El Diablo1989. I am a tier 3 support agent at Rockstar, and I have reviewed your case. I realized there was a misunderstanding in your ticket, and I sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Oh yeah, there was more than a misunderstanding in that. I understand that you lost some capitality after facing an issue during an opportunity mission. After checking your account in detail, I've provided you with 9 gold bars for missing capitality, and 6 extra gold bars for any possible misunderstanding. You should be able to repurchase your capitality directly from any fence using these gold bars. I also want to point out that if an opportunity mission fails, even due to an error, you should be able to restart for free with the fall within the following minutes. If you have any other questions or concerns, I remain at your disposal. I hope you enjoy your further adventures in Red Dead Online. Well, a lot of people aren't going to be enjoying their adventures in Red Dead Online when they have to deal with stuff like this. And El Diablo said finally, thank you very much. The bonus gold is very generous, and the tip about restarting, while I hope it won't be necessary, is good to know. Best regards to you as well, sir. So, at least the story there ended somewhat good, that he did get his Capitale back, but the the amount of nonsense that he had to deal with in the first place that was just disgusting so now let me show you guys something that i dealt with when i dealt with rockstar's crappy support um this was almost a year and a half ago this was march 2020 when this happened and i have it right here so basically what had gone on was the background of the situation there was this griefer that constantly kept following me session to session joining my session when i used to stream gt online and it got to the point where it was pretty much harassment. Like, most sessions that I would join, this guy would try to follow me, just join in this session. I would leave a session, join another session. He would just follow repeatedly. And what happened was one day when he joined one of the sessions, I was trying to mute the guy. I already put a vote to kick on him, but I was trying to mute the guy because he was on the mic in the um, lobby. Didn't want to give him attention. And by his voice being broadcasted on the stream, too. And what ended up happening was instead of accidentally muting the guy, I accidentally invited him to the crew because the invite to crew option is actually right next to the mute option which i don't even know why that's should that's next to each other so i accidentally sent this guy an invite to the crew i felt like an absolute idiot and so i wanted rockstar to delete this crew invite as soon as possible because i on my end i can't delete the crew invite once it's sent and the reason that that's really bad is because i don't know if it's changed now somebody in the comments might know but back then when somebody had a crew invite they could keep joining that crew over and over again so they would have that invite they could keep following that person lobby to lobby got ridiculous the guy was joining in another way i think he constantly kept trying to add people before that but now he had a crew invite which he was it was much easier for him to be able to join sessions and that's ridiculous you can't delete the crew invite but they could still follow you session to session and so i sent rockstar the support ticket and i told them please to get rid of this crew invite so this is what i wrote i wrote hello rockstar i was trying to mute a player that harasses me and follows me session to session his psn is blank i cut it off here because i didn't want to give the guy attention i accidentally invited him to my crew professional it is down below his social club is blank i will link it also down below please delete his invite he is most likely going to use the invite to join off members so I cannot kick him from the crew. This player is constantly harassing me. If this invite is not deleted, he will join every session my crew joins. And also below that, I didn't include that in the screenshot, but I provided links to the crew social club and this guy's social club. And... So I get this response from Rockstar Support. Hi, Polish Mercenary. Thank you for contacting Rockstar Support. We appreciate your cooperation helping to keep GT Online fair for all players. The most effective way to report cheaters in GT Online is through the in-game menu. To report players in-game, pause the game and navigate to the online tab. Select players and choose the name of the player cheating. Select report and confirm your report with the exploit category. No further information is required from you at this time. And 
this right here, you can see they don't understand exactly. It's like their response has like almost nothing to do with my original post. Um, and when they're saying, you know, report the guy for cheating, there have been people that joined my sessions that constantly did the orbital cannon um, glitch. When they would exploit that, they would join the session, they would hit somebody with the orbital cannon, they would leave so they didn't have to pay for it, and then they would rejoin again and do it again. And I reported people like that multiple times, and so did my other friends, and it never did anything. They still kept constantly joining the session. And so reporting this guy would have done nothing. I know that for a fact. At least we still reported him, but it still, it still does nothing. And so I wrote this. Hello... Did you get my ticket? Did you read my ticket? He is not cheating, but constantly harassing and griefing me and my crew. I accidentally sent him an invite to the crew instead of toggling mute on him. Please remove the crew invite. I don't want him to have it. It is my crew. If this invite is not deleted, he will keep joining off and it and it can't and I can't kick him out because it's an invite. Please remove the invite or tell me how to remove it. The person's social club is blank. My crew is a professional. I am linking the crew in his social club down again. Please remove his invite. I don't want him joining my crew. I have also reported him for griefing several times along with, with my members in the last few months. He will keep bothering me and my crew. Please remove this invite that he has. I did not mean to send him one. And so I get this response from Rockstar. Hello, Patrick. Thank you for getting back to us. We are sorry to hear that you're facing issues with a player who is harassing and griefing you and your crew in GTA Online, and we'd like to apologize to you for the inconvenience this has, has caused. Well, at least they admit that there's griefers on this game. We would like to suggest you to block the player by using the block mute feature on your platform to prevent the player from communicating with you or join your crew by following the link below. Oh my god. So look, this, this, is, this is what I got. From, this is the response that I get from Rockstar. We're sorry that he's harassing you, and we're apologize to you for the inconvenience. We suggest you block the player on your platform, and I get a PlayStation link. The problem is, I already had the guy blocked. Blocking them doesn't stop them from joining your session, so when you block somebody on PlayStation Network, at least in terms of GT Online, they can still join your session. Also, we would like you to suggest to report the player by following the link, support PlayStation, report inappropriate or abusive users. And the thing is, though, what am I really going to report to PlayStation at that point, that the guy joins my session and kicks me. The guy hasn't sent me, like, any kind of messages, really, so when somebody sends you an offensive message, you can report it to Sony, but then what am I gonna, you know, report to Sony? This guy follows me around and blows me up in GTA? So this response is just, uh, it's just a nonsense response. And then I, I, this is my final message to them. And I say, I have blocked a player, but he can still join sessions. The problem is the crew invite. When someone has a crew invite, they can check the members in that crew and join their session. The crew member is unable to remove this invite. I accidentally invited this griefer. How can I remove this crew invite? Can you please delete his crew invite so he doesn't have it anymore? And then I get this response. Hello, Patrick. Thank you for responding back to us. We understand your concern regarding the issue with the griefer. As you are asking for the deletion of the crew invite, please be informed that we do not have any option to remove the crew invite from our end. If we had any possibility, we would have done it for you. Your understanding is highly appreciated in this regard. In this case, we request you to please block the player by uh, referring to the link provided. Support Rockstar Games. If you have any further uh, queries, issues, please feel free to write back to us. Best regards. And at that point, I just gave up. I didn't I didn't send any, anything else because I knew I wasn't going to get anywhere. This final response, it at least seems like I got a person. At least it seems like it wasn't like a generic response, which, you know, Diablo before, he got a tier 3 um, Rockstar support agent. I don't know if this guy was tier three but it looks like this was actually a human response and not some copy and paste garbage but basically he actually admitted to it that we don't have an option to remove the crew invite on our end how do you not have an option this is a feature in your game to invite people to the crew and they can still have that crew invite harass people and join off it and you don't have an option in your game to be able to delete that what the hell are you doing as a developer honestly what the hell i know the people that support aren't the developers but what is rockstar themselves as a developer doing and the people at the top of rockstar support are just so incompetent that they have their guys give these type of responses actually have a, a, a human response when you talk to people not nonsense like this this is there's a reason why people are so angry at rockstar support and now to finish off this story this story did have a happy ending for for me at least here too but it was it was a really time consuming effort so basically what happened was to deal with this situation um, me and my friend invited 100 people to the crew. So even though the crew, the crew was full at the time, I believe, but we were still able to invite 100 other people to the crew. And the reason that we invited 100 other people to the crew is because when you send 100 crew invites out, what happens is it deletes the last invite. So what happened was one of my friends, he left the crew and I sent him an invite to the crew. Um, and so he kept that crew invite just to check if his crew invite would get deleted. And so basically we spent hours Hours together, just checking 100 people. We were just checking 100 people that, that we knew, checking their background to make sure they were nice, good people. They weren't going to grief or anything. And so we spent 
all night, basically, a few hours. I think it was, like, at least, you know, two, three, four hours. I don't remember the exact time, but I remember it was a lot of time. It was hours that we spent on this. So we spent that much time checking out all these people, these 100 people, and we sent them that invite. And then after the 100th person was invited, my friend checked his crew invite, and his crew invite was gone. And then we invited a few more people after that just to be safe, and we figured that the, that the griefer's crew invite was gone. So he wasn't able to use that crew invite anymore. So that's the amount of effort that we had to go through to deal with this, to invite 100 people, and we had to check each one spending hours on this just to delete that one crew invite. That is the <clears throat> nonsense that we had to deal with and also um i know that rockstar support they're terrible they gave another player you know a glitched um hunting knife and that was on reddit online that was on um pvp cats uh, made a video about that i'll link his video also down below but this is like this is just something that that is just really ridiculous in the rockstar community <clears throat> and i'm kind of i'm sorry i'm kind of losing my voice here guys because i'm just getting really frustrated at this situation where rockstar support is just this incompetent what's the point of support if they don't help at all you know the point of support is to get an actual response and actually help you with a problem you're facing in the game but instead they give us some copy and paste garbage any anybody could have could have provided the type of answers that they gave. Honestly, we wouldn't be asking support if this is the type of responses that we're meant to get. But that is pretty much it for this video. I'll link Diablo's post down below. Make sure you guys hit give his post a like. Um, check out his post, share his post also. Credit him for his original post. But I feel bad for that Diablo guy. Just reading that post when my friend sent me that, it just got me really angry at this Rockstar support and I just really wanted to make this video. So the rant on Reddit Online is coming. It's coming tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone.